guys, we're just I'm back with another Call of Duty Mobile video, and uh, it's a bit late right now. Uh, the time I'm recording this is 12.43 a.m., so it's a bit late, but uh, the update has just released globally for Call of Duty Mobile. Um, a lot of new stuff, um, and so basically for this video, I just want to kind of talk to you guys about what's new, what's coming, and then we'll have some gameplay of the brand new Rust map, which is awesome. So... Let's go ahead and talk about this update. So in terms of the patch notes, um, as per usual for every update, there's just a lot of optimization. So sliding feels a lot better now. Um, I've noticed that the weapons now stick out more. So um, basically like in, in, in Call of Duty's for PCs, basically you can change the FOV slider. And in this game, if you look at the bottom, the camera FOV has not changed, it's still 75. Um, as the highest which I've always had but they've made it so that the gun sticks out more So instead of it, you know the gun being kind of closer to your chest It actually sticks out a little bit more so you see more of the stock. So it's more of kind of that um, Call of Duty PC vibe, which is awesome. It's actually really good um, And then in terms of balances balances is kind of the biggest thing I'd say probably in this update um, So gravity spikes cooldown has been reduced so you can get it a lot quicker Shock RC has been buffed, so it now can, like, attach and electrocute two people at once. Okay. Um, the ICR aiming speed and accuracy has been increased, so we're definitely going to be checking that out. Uh, the stability of the UL LMG has been increased. Um, they increased the accuracy of the BK-57 for some reason, but okay. Uh, the HVK ha has increased damage, and the reload speed um, has been reduced, which is good. Uh, the MSMC accuracy and stability has been increased, so I guess they over nerfed the MSMC, so now they kind of brought it kind of a step backward. Um, they increased the stability of the S36, so it won't be going, you know, crazy. Um, they did nerf a few things, so they nerfed the Agile perk, so they reduced the time it takes to aim to the weapon after you sprint. So before, it, like, I don't know exactly the numbers might have been, but they basically reduced it so it's not too fast. Um, they nerfed the death machine ammo, so it's a little bit less. Uh, purifier fuel, they've reduced. The VTOL and the stealth chopper, when they're in the air, the, the time that it's in the air is reduced. Um, they nerfed the HBR aiming speed and accuracy, which is interesting. Uh, and then the man war actually has been reduced. Uh, so, on top of that, just a bunch of optimizations and whatnot. But in terms of the game, I mean, we got kind of like a new theme, kind of a Wild West theme. Uh, no new battle pass until May 1st. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then in terms of just kind of little things I've noticed. So first of all, if you go to the um, tactical grenades and you scroll all the way at the bottom, there is a brand new grenade, which is the cryo grenade, which will be, I believe, in the battle pass, which is May 1st. So basically you throw this down and it'll just have like a swirl of like freezing air and anyone who gets in it kind of slows down. Um, so that'd be really cool. On top of that, if you actually go to the specialist, there's actually a brand new specialist that, which says get free in the battle pass. So this will be available in the battle pass uh, for free. So you don't need to do like the extra premium battle pass to get it. So um, this is the Annihilator. It's basically a one-shot pistol, um, which originated back in Black Ops 3. It's a little bit different in this game because in Black Ops 3, all you had to do is just as soon as you shot someone, they would die. In this game, it's the same thing except it kind of gives you like a major aim assist. So basically when you aim at someone, there's like a red kind of aura around them, like a target. And basically if you shoot anywhere inside that area, so you don't even have to be shooting directly at the guy, it will kill them. So very strange, man. It's very strange, but they guys have it. Dude, no one's inviting me? All right. The other thing I wanted to talk about was that if you go to the private match section now, this is actually a really, really cool feature. Thank God. Uh, well, first of all, I guess I should say that I think they removed free for all, which is kind of weird. But yeah, if you do hardpoint domination TDM, you can actually now choose Rust, which is awesome. But that's not the thing I'm talking about. The thing I'm talking about is that you no longer need to add people in order to invite them to lobbies. So if you look at the top left, there's always been that ID number. But basically, once you create a private match, you can actually look at the top right, there's a new button. So you tap that button and you can actually enter the private room ID and join that lobby. So you don't need to add anyone anymore, which is great. Honestly, really, really great. But without further ado, guys, I'm pretty sure um, that's it. I mean, the new Battle Pass will have the Annihilator, new skins, um, there'll be new crates, bundles, lucky draws, uh, just a bunch of stuff. But basically for this update, just it's optimization, balances, new map, uh, new modes will come in the coming weeks. And then the championship is this weekend. So look very forward to that, man. The championship is gonna be crazy. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop into some gameplay. 
All right, guys, so we're in a match in Rust, the brand new map, and we're going to be playing snipers only. And if you guys notice, my gun does stick out a lot more now. So you see more of the stock, which I guess is going to be a little bit off-putting for some people. But for people that have played Call of Duty on PC, I guess it shouldn't be that off-putting. But yeah, man, let's do it. What the freak is everybody? Oh, my. Everyone's having a party here, dude. Dude, I keep hearing this, like, fly. And it's freaking me out. They put that effect on this map. Okay, just connected back. Very interesting, man. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and call this. Okay, the no-scopes are still delayed. Oh god, I pressed that, like, ages ago. Where are we going, dude? Sniper. All right, all right, all right. Oh! Dude, that head glitch is deadly. Did you guys see that head glitch? Oh my god. That is extremely deadly. Alright, this is definitely, honestly, Russ is probably the best map to, like, help with your aim. Oh, alright, so that's a new icon. So if they're invincible, you do get a new kind of, like, HUD icon that shows it. But, yeah, I can't shoot that, man. Okay, that's not working. Nope! Jesus, man, get me the freak out of here. Alright. We got a nuke? I'm gonna let it finish it off, dude. Nice. Hey, guys, look at that. Nuke and Rust, man. Rust, probably now the smallest map in the game. I obviously love this map. This map brings back memories. Awesome, dude. There's also like an icon on the top right, which I'm sure you can change. It's interesting, though. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, find another match, guys. But, uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Alright, guys. So, I just joined a hardpoint match. I just noticed something. So when you put a trophy system now, check this out. Insta pickup. You don't have to like press it and like have that kind of loading screen to take to pick it up. Which is just so good, dude. That's great. That's great. But yeah, we're going to be using the ACR. This gun has been buffed accuracy wise and aim down sight wise. So it aims on sight faster and is a bit more accurate. Dude, look how nasty this head glitch I am at. That is like actually really nasty. We tied for the lead. Alright, the HPK was also buffed. I'm gonna have to check these guns out, like in separate videos, but... What the? We'll see if the ICR is the meta now, man. Because now that it's super accurate, I mean, it doesn't kill that fast, but it is very, very accurate. Okay. I was not paying attention. My god. Let's concentrate here, let's concentrate. We're playing hardpoint. The smallest map, dude. Be advised, hostile predator is on the This too kind of sucks for him, man. Lost the lead. That's a rip. We're losing this fight. Capture the objective. Hard point identified. UAV recon standing by. UAV recon. Please die. I do gotta say, sliding is definitely more. It's fl I, don't, I guess fluid. Yeah, fluid is the best word. It's more fluid. When you slide, it kind of just feels better. Let's call that in. Thank you, my man. What kind of gun do you got? I'm curious. Hey, he's got the Manowar. The Manowar has been nerfed. The accuracy has been nerfed. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, it's up there. Oh no, no, I'm good. 
Jeez, that thing kicks a lot. Hard point is ours. I'm gonna try to get this VTOL, guys. What the? What kind of spawn is that? Okay, I think someone's a little bit mad, man. Dude. Alright. The devs decided to put kind of like an ambient sound in this map with like some sort of bugs flying around. And I'm not gonna lie, man, it's freaking me out. I'm like flinching here. I don't like that. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna have to use this garbage gun. By garbage, I mean just accurate wise. Look at this. Look, look. I'm just tap firing. Look. Oh my freaking god. Alright, I'm about to use this vehicle. Oh, okay. No. Oh! Freaking wet wipe on my head. Look how much this thing jumps! Alright, hold on. Let me get somewhere safe and then I'll use my VTOL because I actually don't want to die. No, okay, I died. That's all good. That's all good. Alright. Let me use this VTOL, man. Beach wall has been reduced, so it doesn't stay in the sky too long. And this map you can't really hide. It's great. It's probably the perfect map to use the beach wall. That's a rip. Ooh, dude, that bug thing is freaking me out. Alright. Guys, okay, so we... Yeah, I, I wouldn't say the, M the ICR is a meta. I just say it's a nice buff tab, but it doesn't compete with like the other guns in the game. Damn, we got a hive. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to test out like the H3K because I got a buff. I have to test the Hard MSMC. I'm gonna test out a few guns to really see if things have changed. What the? Jeez, man. Dude, these head glitches are nasty. I feel like they made the boxes higher than it was in the, in the like, original game, just because, like, these head glitches are just disgusting, man. Alright, I'm not getting in the point for now. I'm just gonna try to get as many kills right now. That's a no no. Enemy shock RC uh, has been I only got five bullets left. Can I get a kill with it? Nope. Alright, pistol only it is. Alright, I'm gonna say that's the win, dude. Nice! There you guys have it. So there, there we go, guys. That's pretty much it for the update. I mean, I'm gonna have to try out the other guns and see how much better they are, how much worse they are. Um, and yeah, I'll just check it out from there. Overall, the, the, the game definitely does feel a lot more fluid. Again, time will tell and see, you know, what else happens. But we got a lot going for like the next few days. We got new battle pass, new guns. We got two new guns actually. So Good work. should be fun, dude. 52 and five. Not too bad. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.